what I do is I use um, a couple of, or th about three different types of creams at night. I have a moisturizer, which was developed in my lab. And so that one has some uh, bioavailable resveratrol and some other things that are they're good. There's betaine in there, um, high, small amounts of hyaluronic acid. I think I'll talk about hyaluronic acid a little bit. That's a, it's a, it's a string of sugars that cells use to remain plump and actually it can also defend against cancer. And, uh, so I have a hyaluronic acid product, but there are small hyaluronic acid pieces that go in. So I, I take supplements, but they don't, they don't, don't all get to the, get to the skin. And so, um, what I like to do is I use this topical cream, uh, that gets in at night. It's got the, the moisturizers, the hyaluronic acid. It's got mm -hmm. these other molecules in it. The other thing that I do is, um, I am actually mixing in a little bit of, uh, of retinol. So retinol will increase cell, div uh, division. Um, and it does help with wrinkles. So, you know, at 52, uh, you know, you're meant to have a lot of wrinkles. So far, I haven't gotten that many. And I think part of it is, is the retinol treatment. I put it here mm -hmm. and I put it here. Well, so I use, um, 0.5%, uh, which is, I think, a, a moderately high dose. Actually, I don't put it straight on my skin because it can actually cause dryness, I find. I mix it with, uh, my moisturizer and apply it that way. Mm -hmm. And so I, the amount that I put on my finger is, the size of a about a half a pea, and uh, um, I tend not to go close to the eyes because if it gets in your eyes, it can really hurt. But I I do actually go higher than most people recommend. I get under there, and you know I don't have any bags or, or a lot of wrinkles under there, and I think that's partly what's helping. Here's another here's a, here's a secret and a hack for the guys, women who are having uh, thinning hair. Uh, I rub it here, where you know I think it's. It's prone to being thin, and it's known that um, that retinol actually lengthens the hair growth phase. Um, and then the third thing that I apply to my skin um, is a peptide that is thought to boost skin di division as well. And so together, I, I think I have uh, improved my skin over the years. If you look at my photos from even five years ago, mm -hmm. uh, and, and even ten years ago, my skin was not as good. And so that's really shows that the power of science can actually work. Mm -hmm. uh, and all of these things I'm talking about today are backed by scientific studies. But pe people on the internet are claiming that I've had plastic surgery. The answer is no, I haven't done any plastic surgery. Um, it's all natural. 